preposterous stats from the season opener that give Cowboys fans hope for the Super Bowl. Are you ready to believe? All right, let me ask you what preposterous means. Okay. What is preposterous? You just don't know what, what the word yeah, means. What is, like, it's what do like you mean? before you get to hippopotamus. Uh, yeah. No. Thank you, Reggie. No. Hippopotamus. No. To all of that. All right. So when you say preposterous, is this like outlandish? It's like when you said yes. that crazy thing that the Cowboys aren't going to give any points this year. Uh -huh. But now I believe you more after three. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think there's a chance they have three shutouts to start this season. Yeah. Off. Yesterday when we had Isaiah Stan back on, uh, Sam back on yesterday, he he was like, no, I'm Aaron Rodgers. That they're going to score a point. And now Don't forget <laughs> the Cowboys are on pace to outscore their opponents 680 to zero, which we think. Is no, could be a record. I know it's a record. I don't have to check with Elias or anything like that. That would be the most points ever scored, least points ever given up. So obviously biggest point differential ever. I will check just okay. to be sure. You do that. Sunday night, the Cowboys were up 27 to nothing. Excuse me, 26 to nothing on the Giants. That was the second largest halftime lead in the history of this series. It trailed only... 20 to 7 to nothing from 1992. Now, Corey Majors, let me ask you a quick question. Right. What happened to the Dallas Cowboys in 1992? They went to the playoffs. Jerry took all the credit. <laughs> and where? what happened once they got in the playoffs? They won. Jerry coached them to the championship. They won each week leading up to the Super Bowl. And then what happened in the Super Bowl? He had that puppet standing on the sideline yep. doing all his bidding. Also also JJ. Was 92 when uh Leon Lett did the thing in the Super Bowl? Yes. Okay. That is correct. Leon Lett. Don but the Beebe point was was Whitney Houston she sang for that one, right? I thought that was no. the year before. Oh, okay. All right. That's Giants. Yeah. But they still they won the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl in 1992. Yeah. They went to San Francisco as 7 point dogs. That's true. And won and in the slump. Won. Mike McCarthy said that their internal numbers listed 75% of the QB dropbacks in Sunday's 40 to nothing win over the Giants were pressures. 75%. Then he said, statistically, it was the best one I've ever been a part of. Has Mike McCarthy won a Super Bowl before? He has won a, a Super Bowl before. Yeah, he said tons this, of them. He said this, well, just the one. Oh. He said this was better. The Dallas Cowboys had seven sacks. In Sunday's season opener, that was the second most in team history, trailing only 1994. Now, I know they didn't make it to the uh, Super Bowl in 1994, but we, we there was a pass interference on Eagles, that. Eagles, fourth down, didn't get it. They did. Deion Sanders pass interfered. I know, but they did at least make it to the NFC Championship game, yeah. which we haven't made it back there in 28 years. Okay. All right. So, yeah. If it hadn't been for Deion Sanders' pass interference on Michael Irvin, which I don't understand how Michael Irvin's friends with him to this day. Like, that just drives me nuts. Because it cost him a Super Bowl. Well, you know, I guess because the next year Deion joined his team. You know, like, that was the thing. So, that maybe that's it. Maybe it's that's just the weird because they say if you can't beat him, join him. He's like, I did beat them. Now, <laughs> now I will join, join him. So that I'm is gonna, a little confusing. There's a lot right. of money. So, are you guys convinced that we're going to the Super Bowl, or do I still have more work to do? I won't say I'm convinced, but this team can do it. <clears throat> so you need a more convincing. Fair enough. Dak Prescott has now won 11 straight starts against the New York Giants. That ties Roger Staubach for the longest winning streak against the Giants by any quarterback since 1950. His streak was from 1974 to 1979. You know what happened in those years? The Cowboys made it to the Super Bowl three times. They haven't made it yet to the Super Bowl? Not in, in this, this run, that? and that is, is confusing. This confusing? <laughs> is this confusing? If you're 25 years old, are you like, the Cowboys actually made it places in this world? The first 30 uh -huh. NFC Championship games, and I swear I'm not making this up, the first 30 NFC Championship games of the Super Bowl era, the Cowboys were in all 30. 15 of them. Oh, that's pretty Half impressive. of them. That's pretty they good. were in half of them. Since then, zero. Okay. Why? What happened? Look. The puppets weren't doing Jerry's bidding on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> that answer I will accept. All right. Th look, man. I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Some of these numbers are Do giving, me, are giving okay, me a little, you know, a little wiggle in my I didn't need to hear that. Heart. 
in the 63 plus years of you get Dal- a doctor to check that out <laughs> yeah you sh- actually that's a great point in the 63 plus years of Dallas Cowboys football Dallas has played in the New York Giants more than any team on opening day 12 of those opening games against the Giants Dallas is 11 and one the previous best shout out 35 to nothing that was in 1995 Corey what happened with the Dallas Cowboys in 1995 they won the Super Bowl you're damn right they did. Is that not enough? Fair enough. All right. This is the... I appreciate this, dude. I appreciate you attempting to to get me like Cuz look, I understand that the logical excited. comeback is except that they won't. Like if you're texting that in, I get it. Oh uh, yeah, that's how, uh, reading these these texts. There's some still very angry people about the last, you know, 30 years or whatever. I get it. I do. This one this might be the best one. Did you know that Sunday was the largest shutout victory in franchise history. I guess I could have just said shutout in franchise history, and it's their first shutout in six years. Here's why that's important. The next two biggest shutouts, they beat Detroit 37-0 to in 1977. What happened that year, Corey? Super Bowl. They, Tony Dorsett won the rookie of the year. Was that his 99-yard touch? No, that was later. They won the Super Bowl. I remember that. Then it was against it, the Denver Broncos. I think it's going to be the Broncos on the other side. No, you do. <laughs> in 19, it, it probably won't be this team either. In 1978, the Dallas Cowboys defeated the then Baltimore Colts 38 to zero. Those were the two biggest shutouts in franchise history. What happened in 1977? You won the Super Bowl. I was Bowl. born. What mm-hmm. happened in 1978? You made it one. to the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys surpassed that this year. It's only logical then to assume no. that they are going to go to the Super Bowl. The numbers don't lie. And in this instance, neither do I. Um. Oh, well, hold on. So you're believing 100% that these numbers are telling you that they're going to a Super Bowl. Yes. Mike, said, Mike already told us. That's the only reason I'm believing. I shouldn't have backed off of it. Yeah, Mike, you should be back in on it. You know what? Oh, I'm way in. Okay. That's, um, but that's I, – I. so you're 100% feeling Super Bowl right now. Is that what you're saying, Kevin? I didn't say Based that. On these I stats. said I am presenting to you a segment uh-huh. called Preposterous Stats from the season opener to give, to us give Cowboys fans hope for the Super gotcha. Bowl. At no point have I revealed my opinion. Um, I, I Open will... the door and come on in with me. I am Super Bowl in it. Yeah, this is I, and I, that's what I've always respected about Mike is his ability My and son decisions. has already asked me if we can get tickets to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I have friends, Did that, he really? I have yeah, friends he that are like, if the Cowboys are going, can I stay in your room? And I'm like, no, yes. you're not staying in my room. Yes. <laughs> but oh my I, God, I would totally make that deal. If they're at the Super Bowl, rip I'd my be room like, sure. to him. Just rip yeah. my room to him. Sure. I, I listen, man. Jags versus Cowboys. I'll take it. The the separation between the Cowboys and the Giants. I think we all felt that it was very very far. Uh, a lot of people were buying in on the Giants this year, and like I I didn't I didn't see it. I was like, look, I think the Cowboys are still class above them. They did their thing on Sunday. Kevin, I'm I'm looking at this defense, and that's the thing that makes me feel that way. I mean, even here, Mike McCarthy, he's like, look, you know, the defense is what's going to be the thing that we ride to get there. We just got to make sure that we allow them those opportunities. We give them the best palette possible to set up on. So that's where this defense did their job on Sunday night for me. They they convinced me alone that they can be that kind of defense. Now, can they do it for the full season? Can they stay healthy that long? Those things are all we'll find out kind of things. I do think that they're the kind of defense that can continue to be um, harassing, uh, uh, suffocating. I think they can be that kind of a defense. I really do. They. I'm still a little concerned about some of the running game stuff, but maybe that can be cleaned up. There were moments I really liked here, dude. The feedback is all over the board, as you might expect. May 817, I'm 22 and I love the Cowboys. Can't picture them winning the Super Bowl. The three two five. I'm 24. I refuse to believe that the Cowboys won any Super Bowls. And then for the four six nine, a weird drive by on Dak. What you said is why I hate QBs getting credit for wins. The defense won that game. Dak didn't do s to win that game. Dak himself said that in the post game. He goes, I don't know why I have the game ball. This should go to the defense. And I feel like we've hyped up the defense a lot 
in this, and then we get, we see stars on the rise from the two one four. I can feel it in my plums from the nine zero three. In their what? In their plums. Okay. The numbers are like Shakira's hips and me. They don't lie. Oh man! But Hold I pay. On. But I pay my taxes. Are they right? She doesn't pay her taxes. Wasn't that a thing? I thought right? that she found out somebody was cheating on her because her wine was drank or something. I what? Don't know. Or her peanut butter got eaten. Jam. I think there was a tax. Jam. Allegedly, it was her favorite jam. That's yeah, right. that's what it was. She okay. realized her jam had been uh, jammed up. And from the two one four, that is actually my prediction: Jags and Cowboys. And then from the eight one seven. I'm getting a face tattoo. Don't do that yet. Listen. Is it going to be a face tattoo of your face, on your face, just slightly to the left? Do you guys feel like you can't go wrong if it's Jags and Cowboys in the Super Bowl? No, I can't. There I are no losers. pissed <laughs> if that's the Super Bowl and the Cowboys lose. And I swear to God, I might that break your computer enough. if you're like, you're not walking on sunshine today. I might flip out and break <laughs> your computer. Come on, football gods. Make it happen. I, 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 really, I really do... I really do feel that Mike McCarthy has walked into this building and made people very uncomfortable. I, I mean, I think from the top down, he's made people very uncomfortable with things that he wants. He wants things done a certain way. And I mean, just think about that first uh, blue and white game, that yeah. first blue and white scrimmage. Mike, we saw it. Everybody was getting ready to watch it. And what did we watch? We watched video of Mike McCarthy talking to people. That was pretty much it. And Jerry hated it, right? A lot of the things that the Cowboys have just kind of scooted by on for many years, Mike McCarthy's come in and, and is like, I don't like that. That's not the way that I want it to be done. And people are like, well, that's not the way we do it around here. And he's like, great. Like, Y'all haven't been winning a lot around here lately. And so now here he is in a, in a winning environment. I do wonder if that's the difference. If, you know, we've been talking about the Jerry Jones, the Cowboys culture that's just been all glitz and no no uh, substance for a long time. I wonder if the, the if if McCarthy has actually changed that. And even if people are unhappy or not or not quite exactly what they want it to be, if it's better for the football team rather than just the organization. I wanted to spotlight the 832 real quick cuz they sent in a text that said, "I'm sending some great text here." <clears throat> I decided to go back I think they were. Okay. What is the origin of underdog? It's a weird concept and word. And they didn't make the Super Bowl in 94. That must have been the year Jerry Jones took off coaching. Or this is the first year. It he was. He let Jimmy. Barry take over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm so, tired of winning championships. Let me see if Barry can do it. He said, oh, he can't. Let me take back over. So bravo from the 832. There's a lot of great text coming in. We tried to get the 817 I was born two months after the Cowboys won their last Super Bowl am I the curse I mean two months seems a long time after to like be the curse there so I wouldn't buy no, it you were still existing yeah yeah you keep when doing they your won thing. the Super Bowl you keep doing so... your thing right now two months after they won their last Super Bowl so they weren't existing oh I guess you know you're right Whoa. you're right my apologies my apologies that's a different <laughs>